So in this problem we have a roller coaster going down a track and the problem statement also gives us this diagram where that's the x coordinate that's the y coordinate and here is the roller coaster and it starts from some point A and ends up at some point B. The distance that the roller coaster travels is defined by S and the problem statement also provides that the path function is given by 1 over 100 x squared. So we're given that the roller coaster starts from rest so starts from rest and we're also told that its speed increases at a rate of 6 minus 0 0.06 s meters per second squared and what we're required to find is the magnitude of the acceleration vector when s is equal to 40 meters, meaning when s is equal to 40 meters. The problem statement also gives us the following information that location B is 30 meters away from that origin. Our solution then um, consists of the following. Since we're given the path function, given the path function, this tells us that we can use the NT coordinate system. We know that as the roller coaster comes down the path, the velocity vector will be that tangent to the path. And that will be its velocity vector. So since we're using the NT coordinate system, we need to define the normal and tangential axes. So the tangential axis is always tangent to the path. The normal axis will be perpendicular to that axis. Now all we need to do is define the positive directions for both of the axes. Since the roller coaster is traveling in this direction, it follows that the positive tangential axis will be directed in that direction. And for the normal axis is always at the center, it's always pointing in the center of the radius of curvature at that instant. So it'll be right there. Next we define the acceleration vector and we'll assume it to be in this direction. And the normal component for acceleration would be as such, and the tangential component will be in that direction. So let's just write what's given. So here we have the time, position, velocity, and acceleration. And we were given that the acceleration in the tangential direction is defined by six minus zero point zero six s, and that was in meters per second squared. And we also know that the normal component is defined by v squared over rho, and we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration which is defined as a sub t squared plus a sub n squared and the square root of the sum of those two terms. And we want to find that when s is equal to 40 meters. We know that acceleration is not constant. Along the tangential axis, so along the tangential axis. We know that we can apply the kinematic equation. 
we can apply kinematic equations. Meaning equations 12, 1 through 12, 3. Okay, so to find the magnitude of the acceleration vector, we need to know a sub t and a sub n. a sub t is given to us and is defined by 6 minus 0 0.06 s. So all we need to do is just evaluate this at 40 meters. And that's just equal to 3.6 meters per second squared. We need to find a sub n. That's defined by v squared over rho. We don't know the velocity and we don't know the radius of curvature, but we can find them. So we know that velocity is actually along the tangential axis. So it points us back to this equation right here. So we can find v by analyzing a sub t. That is, we know that we have the equation a sub t ds is equal to v dv. So let's substitute that expression in here, integrate it, and evaluate that expression. So we have 6 minus 0 0.06 s ds is equal to v dv. We take the integral and the initial condition at s naught is 0 to some general variable s and the initial velocity when s is 0 is equal to 0 that was given to us and we have the upper limit as v and that becomes 6s minus 0.03s squared is equal to v squared over 2 from v naught equals 0 to v and that simplifies to v squared over 2 or continuing it becomes v is equal to 12s minus 0.06s squared and the square root of all of that meters per second and then, of course, we can evaluate this when s is equal to 40 meters. So v is equal to the square root of 12 times 40 minus 0 0.06, 40 squared. And that becomes 19.6 meters per second. Next, we need to find the radius of curvature. We know that's just defined by 1 plus dy dx squared to the 3 halves power divided by the absolute value of the second derivative of the path function. dy dx is just simply 1 over 100 times 2x and d squared y dx squared is just 2 over 100 which is just 1 over 50 we substitute both of these back in there and we get that the radius of curvature is just 1 plus 1 over 50 x squared to the 3 halves power divided by 1 over 50 we evaluate that at x equals 30 meters okay not 40 but 30 meters and that will evaluate to 79.3 meters so we now have the velocity as well as the radius of curvature so we can now express the normal component of acceleration is 
squared divided by 79.3 and that yields 4.842 meters per second squared. So the objective of this problem was to find the magnitude of the acceleration vector. So that just turns out to be 3.6 squared plus 4.842 squared. Take the square root yielding 6.03 meters per second squared and that's the final answer.